Bone encounters, entanglement in fishing nets, and captivity all pose serious threats to killer whales. But recently, there have been incidents where killer whales have purposely attacked boats with humans on board, specifically off the coast of the Iberian Peninsula in countries like Portugal and Spain. Researchers and conservationists are still trying to understand the motives behind these unusual offenses. Welcome to Zoo Tales, where we embark on incredible animal adventures, captivating wildlife stories, and mind-blowing facts. In today's episode, we dive into the mysterious behaviors of killer whales, also known as orcas, and explore why some of them have been purposely attacking boats off the coast of the Iberian Peninsula. So, let's get started! Before we delve into the theories behind these attacks, let's learn some background information about killer whales. They belong to the dolphin family and are known for their impressive size and intelligence. Male killer whales can exceed 32.8 feet in length and weigh up to 11 tons, while females are smaller, measuring a maximum of 27.8 feet and weighing between 8,000 and 60,000 pounds. Fun fact, killer whales have the largest brains among all dolphins, averaging a weight of 12.3 pounds. Killer whales, with their distinctive black and white coloration, are powerful predators that roam the world's oceans. Their immense size, intelligence, and complex social structures make them one of the most fascinating creatures in the marine realm. However, despite their name, killer whales do not pose a threat to human life. It is we humans who pose a danger to them in various ways. Killer whales have a diverse diet, which includes seals, squid, penguins, various fish species, and even other whales. They often use echolocation, a technique similar to sonar, to locate prey and communicate with other members of their pods. These pods are groups of up to 40 individuals that exhibit unique behaviors, such as specific hunting strategies and distinct vocalizations. When hunting, killer whales are formidable predators. They use their intelligence and teamwork to create attack strategies, leaving their prey defenseless. With their powerful tails, they can stun or strike their prey, making them highly efficient hunters. However, it's important to note that while killer whales pose a danger to many marine animals, they do not pose threats to humans in the wild. Now let's address the recent attacks on boats by killer whales of the Iberian Peninsula. Over the last three years, three boats have been sunk by these marine giants, but thankfully all humans on board were rescued. Although these attacks have been limited to this region, encounters between killer whales and boats have occurred more frequently, leaving scientists puzzled. Scientists propose two main theories to explain why killer whales are purposely attacking boats. One theory suggests that a trend among the killer whales has emerged, driven by young individuals. Like dolphins and whales, killer whales are known to create trends within their species. It's possible that some young killer whales found it amusing to target boats and as other members of their pod observed these trendsetters, they joined in the attacks. The second theory revolves around the notion that these killer whales may have had prior negative encounters with boats. To protect themselves from future harm, they may have decided that sinking boats altogether was the best course of action. One particular killer whale, White Gladys, stands out in this theory. She is the only adult in a group of killer whales consisting of her children and sisters. Scientists believe that White Gladys may have become entangled in a fishing net or had a negative encounter with a boat in the past, leading her and her family to attack boats in the region as a form of defense. However, it's important to note that this theory contradicts typical killer whale behavior. There have been no recorded instances of vengeful killer whale attacks resulting from negative experiences with boats anywhere else on Earth. Even when killer whales were captured and taken away from their natural habitats, during the 1960s and 70s, they did not retaliate against humans. Additionally, no killer whales in the wild have ever killed humans. It's possible that White Gladys and her family harbor negative emotions toward boats. But the true reasons behind these attacks might involve a combination of both theories we've discussed. As humans, we cannot fully comprehend the intentions, psychology, and emotions of killer whales. What we can learn though is that killer whales do not respond well following negative experiences with boats. Therefore, it is crucial for sailors, marine wildlife managers, and fishermen to respect the natural habitats of killer whales and ensure their populations are left undisturbed. While killer whales have no natural predators, they face numerous threats due to human interference. One of the most significant concerns is their captivity for entertainment purposes, such as shows seen in places like SeaWorld. 
The detrimental effects of captivity on killer whales have been brought to public attention by conservationists. Many captive killer whales have suffered shorter lifespans and higher mortality rates compared to those in the wild. Consequently, several organizations have discontinued killer whale performances. Outside of captivity, killer whales face threats in their natural habitats. They can become entangled in fishing nets, which can lead to severe injuries and even death. Additionally, contamination from pollutants like pesticides and sewage poses a significant risk. When killer whales consume prey that has been exposed to these pollutants, they themselves become contaminated. This pollution can damage their reproductive systems and weaken their immune systems, making them more susceptible to disease. And there you have it, the intriguing mystery of killer whale attacks on boats. While we may not fully understand their motives, it's clear that killer whales are under threat from human activities and it's our responsibility to protect their natural habitats and ensure their well-being. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below on what animal we should discuss in the next video.